In the past, it was generally understood by people who worked the earth that disturbing the earth left in it a kind of memory. You'd have to work with it often enough to be able to see that the life forces in it retained memories of being disturbed. The disturbing of the earth itself as a living body also had memory. The memory of the living earth is the planetary configuration that was present when you disturbed it. This is, we could call it a cosmic living memory. And the cosmic living memory stays fixed in the soil until it's disturbed again. And the old people knew that because they could see when something was disturbed, kind of got dazed, <laughs> looked around, said, whoa, what was that? That memory in the life body of the Earth is similar to this worm. All a worm wants to do is get back home. The Earth wants to get back home. The home of the Earth is in the cosmos. When we disturb the Earth on a given day, it has a memory of that disturbance based on what was present in the cosmos in the position of the sun and the moon on that day. The old people understood that they could actually work with that as a kind of clock. If they disturbed it where there was a particular configuration, and then they waited for a month or so and disturbed it again with a similar configuration. They would see that there was synergy. There was an enhanced life force that was present. And if they did it again and again, looking for similar patterns in the way in which the cosmos was operating, they could fix into the soil a kind of clock use of that soil clock to grow better crop. <laughs>